Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and I'm back with a new short movie. The name of the short movie is What If Naruto Was A Lazy Prodigy and yeah guys, it is an unscripted movie as well. Now I know that most of you guys don't like the idea that I'm making a lot of short movies but this is something that I'm currently enjoying in making and plus I'm being lazy bastard so yeah please forgive me I'm trying to you know realign my life for something similar to that you can say yeah I've been going through a lot that I haven't been sharing with you guys but yeah I would rather keep it private and not you know bother you guys anymore than I already have but yeah I will sort things out with my own self first and then focus on my channel completely. That doesn't mean that I'm going to abandon this channel as a whole, I'm still doing what I love and yeah, I'm enjoying that. So I hope you like this and if you do then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you enjoy today's video and without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Our story begins one day after the QB attack in Konoha Gakure no Sato. As we go towards the Namikaze Uzumaki residence, where we see Minato and Kushina Uzumaki Namikaze sitting with a white haired man who was there, alongside with a well blonde haired woman. So let me get this straight, said Minato. You want to train our two children with us by leaving the youngest one here. Yes, it is for his own safety. Hmm, I can see where you are coming from, but why? Because of this prophecy? Said Kushina, you know, Bachan, that we Uzumakis don't take it lightly of leaving our kind behind, right? I know, Kushina. I am a part of Uzumaki as well, and it hurts me too to leave such a young infant one behind. But Katsuyu, and as you guys know, Jiraiya's toads have already told us this prophecy. And we know for sure that Orochimaru and Manda might have conversed this conversation as well. So, what are we going to do if Orochimaru gets his hand on our children? That is why we have to move. And he has to be put into the orphanage, Jiraiya said. I know it sounds cold and harsh, but it is the only way. We have to erase his documents and not like the people know about him. Because you said that you only introduce your two children. As both Minato and Kushina's eyes widen, because they realize that they have forgotten their youngest one, who was just an infant. As then Kakashi arrived, you don't have to worry about him. He is with me. I I see. S sorry, Kakashi. We, yeah, I know. Just make sure that doesn't happen again. Well, Kakashi, tough luck. I guess the kids have to stay here, and they're living with us. What? What are you talking about, Jiraiya? said a elderly voice as we see door was open and in came the third Okage. Sensei, but how the door was open? I tried to knock but you wouldn't listen. So I let myself in. And what is this mess you are about to create, Jiraiya? And you as well, Tsunade, aiding him in separating a family and destroying it from its roots? Sensei, you know that is not true. I see Minato and Kushinam as my own children says Tsunade, then you should not abandon one of your grandchildren, right? It is for the best for this world. Hmm. I cannot believe this. Fine, leave. But, mark my words, if, and if only that is a big if, what you're saying is true, then, only then I might consider siding with you. Until then I will take care of him. Alongside with Kakashi, I suppose. As much as he can. Hi. So where are you going to put him? Uh, you already talked Sh Shikaku. Shikaku Nara? Yeah. Why not Mikoto? Said Kushina. Well, you know her husband, right? He might, you know, try to... Oh, I see. Fugaku is an asshole. But he is your friend. Isn't that right, Minato? So is Hiyashi. But both of them have a stick where the sun doesn't shine, and quite a long one, so yeah, I wouldn't bother them with my son. Because Chicago is the only safe guy here, so I will let him handle Naruto for the meantime. As after they prepared for their departure, we see Minato and the third Okage with Naruto in his toe arriving at Chicago's door. <sighs> You're here for real? 
Oh, what a drag. I guess I'll take care of you, brat. You better come back after 13 years or I'm going so going to find you and kick your ass. Yeah, I will. Thanks again for this. Yeah, no worries. As unknown to them, little baby Naruto was watching him. As after Minato left, time passed. As time skipped to the next six years, we see that within six years, many things have happened. Kona had gained two new prodigies. One of them was Itachi, who was 12, and the other one was even younger than him, six-year-old Naruto. He did not knew any of his parents, and he did not have any relation with the Nara clan, but he was glad that they had taken him in. Mainly the clan had, as currently we see Shikamaru just resting there. Oi, Naruto, wake up, you lazy bastard, said Shikamaru. Huh? What do you want, Shika? Naruto said as he yawned. Well, you know, when you stay with some people, their habits grow on you. And in case of Naruto, who was an infant, well, let's just say he grew a hell of a lot of lazy. You lazy bastard. We gotta go to the kindergarten. Did you forget already? Yeah, well, that's a bit of a drag. I'm not going. As Naruto pulled the sheets of his bed upon him and got back to sleep. As suddenly, Yoshino Nara jumped inside the room with her frying pan. Naruto, this instant you will wake up and leave. Uh, fine, Kachan, I will. A troublesome woman. What did you say? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I said nothing. As we see Naruto leaving with Shikamaru as he was yawning again and again. Tch. Talk about being lazy. Man, even I am not that lazy as much as you are. Uh, you just wish you were a cloud so you don't have to budge a muscle. I wish I was just particles and molecules so I don't even have to have breathe myself. Ugh. Don't you want to live? You know what? I'm going to create a seal that will help me breathe so I don't have to do that by myself as well. You are a sick lazy bastard. You know that, Naruto? Ugh. Whatever you say, man. As after they arrived in the kindergarten, they saw that many of the children were there. Alongside them were specifically the clan heads children from different clans. As you see that Naruto was sitting there and resting under the shade of tree while even Shikamaru was taking charge and playing with Shoji. As Naruto heard a scream. You think you're better than us, huh? Said a little kid who was quite overgrown for his age. As Naruto then saw he was bullying two girls. One with pink hair and the one with blonde hair. Ugh, what a drag. Maybe someone might help them. He saw that his senses were looking away. Man, those pesky little bastards. As Naruto arrived behind them. You know, you big fat shit. You should not treat these beautiful girls like these. As Sakura then said, We're not beautiful. Yeah, I'm not talking about you, you big forehead. I'm talking about your friend. My lady, what is your name? Naruto said, getting into full romantic mode. Thanks to a lot of books that he had read in his free time. Oh, uh, uh, Ino, Ino Yamanaka. Hmm, well, Ino-chan, you are lucky today because I finally decided to move and for good cause. As Naruto dodged a punch, oi, you just got in between me talking to someone. And I dislike that when someone cuts me off and I'm talking. As Naruto punched him in the face, straight sending him flying towards a tree. Tch, bastard. As Naruto saw that everyone was looking at him. Naruto, come here this instant, said the teacher. Oh, now you see, Naruto said. What? What do you mean by that? That piece of shit. Language. Yeah, that a piece of a crab that fell to the floor was dis has in his right mind decided to bully these girls so I was the one who interjected and prevented that my good ma'am Naruto said as an eyebrow twitched was occurring on the teacher's face you know what detention for all of you Ugh, really and you call this justice as Naruto went to the detention corner with the boys you know you're dead Naruto once we get out of here Oh, you wanna go there, huh? Naruto said with a sadistic smile. As she came over and said, Oh, those poor bastards. 
they have woken the prankster within him. As after school that day, a lot of screams were heard and three boys were found hanging from the Hokage monument on the fourth Hokage spiky hair with veggies and their face painted with we are idiots. As Naruto could be seen walking away while laughing, you know Naruto that is the waste of your talents, said a bandaged person. Ah, Danzo Shimura. Just who I didn't want to meet at the moment. As Danzo Shimura's eyebrow twitched, you know you should respect your elders, boy. Yeah, when they do something to earn my respect, that is. As another eyebrow twitch occurred. Tch. You should help them out. And stop wasting your talents like this. And stop being lazy, for God's sake. You're even lazier than Nara's. Hey, what do you expect me to do? Go find my parents or something? Hmm, that might be not bad. Yeah, no thanks. I would rather stay as I am. I don't want anyone to interfere with my life. I already have one troublesome man and troublesome woman, alongside with troublesome sibling in my life. I don't want any other to be involved. As Naruto moved away, as a kunai was thrown at him as he caught it lazily. You know, you could come out now, Neji. As Neji stepped out, he was two years older than Naruto. Tss. You got lucky, Nara. I'm not a Nara, but why do you live with them then? Because they adopted me. You piece of shit. Can't you see? With your all seeing eyes. As there was an eyebrow twitch. Now leave me be and go do something with the, the youthful, babbling idiot of your friend. Youth! As Neji and Naruto heard, and both of them shuddered. Well, time for me to go, as Naruto threw the kunai back with such speed that it cut at Neji's cheek. I will get you one of these days. You hear me, Naruto? Yeah. In your dreams. That is, if you're not gay. As Neji face faulted on the stairs while Naruto chuckled and went back home. As we see the elders Kakashi, as well as... Jiraiya, who has came back to the village for some supplies there, alongside with Hiruzen. Wow, I did not see that coming. That kid turn out like that? Yeah, well, he's more lazier than Nara, but he has a kink for being a shinobi if he puts his heart into it, which he doesn't pr precisely, courtesy of being living with Nara for quite a while now. <sighs> Should have put it with Yugas or Chihas, as Jiraiya grumbled. Yeah, such potential wasted. I mean, he was able to detect Ganzo when he was hiding his presence. And not only that, he was able to make him angry, said Hiruzen. That was a feat in its own self because Ganzo was ice cold as he was emotionless. And what Naruto achieved, many tried, even Hiruzen tried, but failed. Well, I guess I gotta show his parents what he has become. Have you videotaped everything? Yeah, I sent my toad doing so. As Naruto on the other side saw that a toad with a cam recorder attached to it was following as Naruto picked it up. Well, little guy, what are you doing here? Hmm, a cam recorder, huh? Looks like someone is recording me. But for what? Hmm. Is this you, Gigi? Naruto said with narrowed eyes. I'm not going to become freaking Hokage. Ugh. I'm still trying to decipher the challenge you left me to find out my own parents so I can go and piss on their graves if they're dead or you know just call at their names if they're alive out there or something. As after that the camera was sent away. Naruto did this deliberately because he wanted to piss some people off. <laughs> Let's see how you handle this Jirai of the Sani. As Naruto went home and after saying Good night, not even eating his dinner, went straight to his bed. As Yoshino yelled at him, Naruto, come down here this instant, young man. Ugh, troublesome woman. I don't want any other. As after the toad returned, Jirai did not play the video and went straight back to the land of our capital where they were staying at. As after he arrived there, they saw a video play as Menma and Mito were excited to see their little brother because they were going to be heroes and he had to stay behind. They were saddened by that but 
Oh well, it was their destiny and not his. And Menmo was quite cocky. As when they saw the video, they were just shocked. Wow, who knew he turned into a lazy bastard? Said Menma. Well, I gotta put him back to shape once we get back home. As then they saw Naruto pick up the toad. <laughs> who is following me? Hmm, is this you, Gigi? <sighs> I'm still trying to decipher the challenge that you left with me. Trying to figure out who my parents are. You know I will. And once I do, I will go and piss on their graves if they're dead or just scream bloody shit at their names if they're alive out there. As after that, the toad was, well, dropped back as Naruto said, I'll see you later, alligator, as he left. As many eyebrow twitched occurred, he, he knows that. He knows that it was Jiraiya's right, said Minato. Why? What do you mean? He did that deliberately because of the smirk. <sighs> Man, I shouldn't have left with the, sh left him with Chicago. He turned out so lazy and so unmannered. I gotta whip him back to shape once we get back, said Kushina, because she did not like the tone of her little boy. And she was excited to see him, and so was Mito, but all of them were just annoyed by him. And Naruto just felt happy all of, all of a sudden as he woke up. Oi, why are you downstairs and up? Usually it's Sunday and you sleep till dinner. Well, I'm feeling good today, so I'm going to take a walk. As suddenly something dropped in the kitchen. As we see that both Yoshino as well as Chicago's jaws were dropped. What? Why are you looking at me like it is the end of the world? As Yoshino then came towards Naruto. Naruto, honey, are you feeling okay? What? What is wrong with me? Better yet, what is wrong with you all? One day I decide to go and have fun, not be lazy, and instead of being happy, you're just outright shocked. Well, son, us Naras are lady, lazy bastards, as our wives, as well as our, well, friends call us. But you, my son, take the cake. And this is quite surprising even for us. Ugh, I'm just going to eat Chiracos. So you won't be eating dinner? Yeah. Sorry, Kachan. I'll be back. Later. As after that, Naruto went outside and had some Ichiraku. Time skip. Seven years later, at the age of 13, it was the final year in the academy. Almost the end, as we see Naruto resting, or more like snoring in his claws. As today was the test day, as after Iruka and his assistant arrived inside, they saw that Naruto was sleeping still and very soundly, while the other were now quiet. Ah, ramen. Naruto sat in his sleep as Iruka's eyebrow twitched, while many of the other giggled, mainly Ino. Oh, you lazy bastard, wake up! Hey, she, sensei. At this rate, you're not gonna get your dick sucked and you won't get any girlfriend like this, as Iruka turned red and face faulted, while the other had their jaws dropped. Who said I'm single? Because the way you scream is like a virgin sissy, said Naruto. You're also a virgin. Yeah, and damn proud of it. It's quite a hassle to lose that thing. As every one of them blushed. What? I'm, what I'm saying is the truth. We don't want to figure that out. As Naruto then said, Sheesh, Sensei. I was just kidding. Don't need to get your panties twisted. So how about this? Why don't you lay it on us? The test, I mean. As... Iruka gave all of them the test, and Naruto just filled them out within a minute and went back to sleep. I'm done, and I'm gonna take a nap. As everyone's eyebrows twitched, this lazy motherfucking bastard. As Sasuke was the most annoyed one out of all of them. <sighs> He's always like this. I can't believe he, of all the people, is my best friend. As Shikamaru was like, <sighs> what a drag. I just do enough so I could pass as that is what Shikamaru did. As we go towards the council room, where Minato Namikaze and his family had arrived alongside the two of his students. Wow, you weren't lying when you said he was a genius in his own right, more than so than Itachi. But he's lazy as hell, and the way he treats his sensei, we need him to whip him back to shape. He's not in a good shape at all, Minato. As 
After that, the second test came and Naruto did his test and came back as he had the headband now. He did not even tie it, he just put it into his pocket and went outside. Why Naruto? Did you fail? Nah, I'm too lazy to tie it to my head or anywhere. I'm just gonna keep it in my pocket. Hmm, quite a nice distraction though. As Shikamaru and Naruto were walking, they were stopped by a family. Looks like someone's here to meet you. Yeah, and I can guess why. As Naruto went towards them, after saying to Shikamaru that he will meet him later, because their teams were to be assigned, and it was just tomorrow now. So let me get this straight, Naruto said, coming up to them. You two are my siblings, and you two are my parents. As their eyes went, how do you? Well, duh. Blonde hair, blonde hair, blonde hair, red hair with blonde streaks, and I have that woman's face. Sorry, ma'am, I don't know your name. You're squishing on Arto. You can call me Ka- No, no, not, not want to. What do you mean? Too much of a hassle. Already have a troublesome woman who has taken that role for me. As an than you Oh, well, look at the time. I'm tired as hell. Bye now. It was nice meeting you and all. As Naruto started to walk away. Wait, Naruto! Said Menma. Don't you wanna... You know, nah, too much hassle, man. You see, I'm a lazy idiot who wants to just rest. I don't even want to exist. I just want to be a particle molecules to exist in the thin air. Even breathing is hassle for me. So yeah, I don't want to waste my energy here. I just want to go back and sleep. As that is what Naruto did. As the Namikaze Uzumaki family, you know, we're talking with the Nara family. Well, you see, at first, it was like this. Shik Shikamaru's dad, Shikaku, was telling them how Naruto turned like this. Me and Shikamaru would rest and laze around, and so would he. But he would usually sleep more than... And then he started to turn out like that. You did not stop it? We thought that he was a kid at the time, he said Yoshino. And he wasn't making any hassle. So we thought it might be good for him. I mean, he was not going anywhere and getting lost or making quite a hassle like Shikamaru. So it was good. And he turned into that lazy idiot we saw. Yup. He's not an idiot. He does that deliberately. You see, he has a hidden compartment in the basement. You can go, you can go check it out. It has some ruins on it. Or seals, I guess. As Shika Shikaku got interested and so did the... Namikaze Uzumaki family as they went there to see that there was a lot of seals there and one particular seal that was almost finished. Wait, is that breathing seal? Why would he make that? Oh, he did say that breathing was hassle for him. Does he have a breathing problem or something like that? Asked Kushina quite for it. No, that bastard is lazy enough to not even breathe by himself as all of their eyebrows twitched. You know, we kind of want to meet him. As they, as they all went to Naruto's room to see that he was sleeping while hugging his body pillow. Uh, I would love to. Yes, I do. I, Naruto, take ramen as my wife. As all of them bursted into laughing, as Naruto woke up, Hey, a man can not even not dream in his own room. Don't you guys know something about privacy? Well, Naruto, you're coming and moving back with us. Yeah, not happening. Well, you have no other choice, son. And you don't want to impose on Shikaku and Yoshino anymore, right? Ugh, <sighs> really? Fine. You're making me feel all guilty and all that. As Naruto thanked the Shikamaru family and bent back to his own. As he was given a room of his own where he displayed everything. As he was still working, as the seal was done. As his sibling came inside. Oh, hey, Menma, Mito. Nice to meet you again. Yeah, same here, Naruto. What are you working on? Asked Mito. It is done. As Naruto took off his shirt and lay down. Hey, can you help me place that seal on my chest? Why? Just do so. As Naruto laid down as Menma took the seal and placed it on his chest as the seal glowed. And now was one with his skin and disappeared. Yes. As Naruto stopped moving. My lungs are taking air directly now. I don't even have to breathe underwater. <laughs> it was a success, Naruto said. 
and I don't have to work my lungs all by myself. They can do their own work. As their eyebrows twitch, y you made a seal that will help you or work as your breathing process. So you don't have to do that yourself? Yes, it is my masterpiece that I created. As after that, Naruto then said, Nashu, please, I want to sleep and test this out. You know what? As Tsunoring Son was hurt. Wow, he's fast. Quite a, a lot of fast, actually. Time skip. Next day. As a lot of things happened yesterday, as Naruto woke up, as he went downstairs and it did his breakfast and then went towards the academy, where him and the rest of the class were situated alongside Menma and Mito. Well, class, today we're going to as Naruto started to snore. Naruto, wake up, please, at the last day. You know what, Sensei? <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. Naruto said as he got up and hugged his sensei. Thank you for putting up with me. As he snorted and all of his knot was now on Iruka's shirt. As Iruka then said, ugh, yeah, okay Naruto, just go back and sit down there. As after sitting down, Iruka began to tell them about their senses and their teams until it came to Naruto. Well, Naruto, uh, you, Menma and Mito will be a team. What? Really? Who's going to be our sensei? Me, Brad, said Jiraiya. Oh, the pervert. Nice. I gotta stay away from you. As Naruto could hear someone face faulting. As all of them face faulted for Naruto's bluntness. What? I'm saying the truth. He writes those Icha Icha books that sensei hides in the cabinet. As all the girls glared at Jiraiya. Wait, what? Come on, man. You just ruined my chances. Ugh, battlefile. As Naruto said these words, and every even the older people were looking at him. What? No, I'm not. Uh, you know what? Let's just meet on the rooftop. As Uriah was now there, and the three of them arrived there. As Naruto was not moving, he was floating in air when he arrived there. How are you doing that, Brad? Said Jiraiya. Oh, Erosanin, I'm doing this with the help of seals. You see, I'm too lazy to even move myself, so Earth was my main element, so I used it and voila, I have my own Earth carrier. I can move anywhere at any speed, as much and as long as I want. Does it not affect your chakra? Oh, it does, but only a small chunk of it for a whole day. Hmm, that is quite nice actually. Yep, but you know you gotta train your body, otherwise you don't you won't have any strength to defeat your enemies. Who needs strength when I can fight with these? As out of nowhere, chakra strings appeared and with air and earth, two golems appeared. See these? These puppies will help me fight. You're a puppet master? Yeah, I read a book about that from Suna. Some old granny named Chio wrote it, so yeah. I'm all set. What if someone got close? Oh, they won't. How about this? Why don't you throw a kunai? As Uriah and everyone else throw a kunai. As the kunai was slashed into half. See this? This is what I'm talking about. The air defense system. It will cut anything that is within a meter of my proximity if I want to. And I can expand this. Currently it is at level zero because it is as close as to my body is. That is quite impressive. Yeah, as I told, I am all set with defenses and offenses. But I'm too lazy to do anything, as they all face faulted. So yeah, I'm just gonna sleep, as Naruto fell asleep in midair. As everyone's eyes eyebrows fished, even Jiraiya's. Oh, man, I hate Nara's, but this just takes the cake. As in the council chamber, we see Minato and Kushina seeing this. Oh man, do we have to deal with him? Said Kushina. Well, yes, Kushina. What do you mean? Should we give him away or something? No! I mean with his behavior. He shouldn't be a shinobi like that. I mean he has great tactics and all, but he's still a kid who's too lazy for his own good and he will get himself hurt. Maybe that will be an eye-opener for him. I'm still worried, Minato. And so am I. But it is necessary for his own growth, their growth. We cannot always shield him. 
You know what, Minato? You, you are right. I, I didn't thought that. Good. As after that, Jiraiya took them some on some missions and completed the D-rank missions. Currently, we see Tora resting in Naruto's lab as Naruto was sleeping, and his ankle was tied with a rope as he was dragged in the air, as he was still floating. By Menma, I still can't believe that I have a little brother who has solution for everything. That as long as it concerns his rest. As the other two were also grumbling and grumpy. As when they arrived, Mito then said, "Nee, Tochan, can you replace Naruto with some other teammate? It's not that we don't like him or anything. We actually love him, but he's just too much lazy. I mean, look at him." As the Daimyo's wife went to her store and picked him up. Thanks, young man, she said, placing a kiss on Naruto's forehead. As Naruto was still asleep, as after that she left. Man, even I'm feeling lazy after making this story. Only a side note, though. Anyways, back to the story. As Naruto then woke up. Ugh. Why does it feel like sloppy on my forehead? Because a woman kissed you there. Ugh, really? Oh well. If the mission is off, I'm gonna go rest. No, actually, Naruto, there is a sea rank mission waiting for you. Uh, what would that be? You see, the princess of Snow Country, Princess Kyoki, wants to go there. Her father is calling her back while she was attending the academy to learn acting. Okay, we'll do that. As Naruto and his team met with Kyoki, and Naruto and Kyoki hit it off because both of them were acting lazy, but as not as much lazy as Naruto. As when they arrived back, they saw that there was a revolt happening. Naruto with his 80,000 puppets art decimated their armies, 80,000 golems attacking all of them. As some of the rogue shinobis escaped. And next thing you know, after the mission was complete and Naruto returned back on the bingo book, there was a new entry named Naruto Relations with Konoha. Usage A puppet master could use 80,000 puppets as his army and can use offense and defense battle. And is very dangerous. Rank S. As Minato's eyebrow twitched, you know, it took me many years to get this rank. And many of his senses were also eyebrow twitching. But this brat just takes it like it's a piece of cake. Oi, don't look at me. It's not my problem that I'm so smart and genius and handsome and lazy. And did I mention lazy? Yes, you did. Now please go and rest, Naruto. As Minato face palmed himself when he said those, yes, finally. As Naruto went away. Until he bumped into Eno. As Minma and Mita were about to call him as they hid themselves. Oh, hey, Eno. Hey Naruto, hmm, nice trick. Wanna join in? As Naruto then, as she climbed into Naruto's lap, as both of them were now in the air and just traveling, flying above Konoha. This is quite nice. As Naruto and Ino hanged out the whole day, and after that, Naruto dropped her off at the flower shop as she gave Naruto a kiss on the cheek and grazed her lips across his. Next time you might earn something, big boy. Uh, thanks, you know, John. As after that, Naruto was still quite in shock and had a huge blush on his face while Menma and Mito were just following them around the whole day, giggling like perverts while taking pictures. As when Naruto arrived back home later at night, after getting his thoughts together, he saw that his parents were giggling, looking at him. What? Well, who would have thought that our lazy bastard of a son has finally found someone? Who will motivate him to become not lazy? What are you talking about? Naruto said with narrowed eyes. Could have they? As Naruto saw the images, of course they have been. Ah, Menma Mito. You better watch yourself. If you ever fall in love, oh, you will be embarrassed of what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Naruto said with almost the same smirk that Kushina had. Does he have a switch button? I think we pushed it into the wrong direction. Oh, you that you did. Certainly did. It's after that Naruto's laughter could be heard as he went back to sleep. 
Back in the Akatsuki space, Iname Gakure. So you're saying that a 13 year old destroyed an army of advanced soldiers from Snow Country who are starting a revolt with new tech. Yes, that's who said. And he's the sibling of Jinchurikis. But the only problem with him is that he's too much of a lazy bastard. Much more than even Naras. As all of their eyebrows twitched. Really? Yes. You know, as soon as the battle was over, he just fell back to asleep. Wow, that lazy, huh? As Sasori then said, I will deal with him personally. As Sasori went towards Konoha, in the outskirts we see Naruto resting until a puppet attacked and his own golem attacked him and destroyed him. As in front of him was Sasori. Ah, Sasori of the Red Sand, what can I do for you? Nice new fashion, by the way. You. Me. Now. What? You gay, bro? I'm not. No! Fight! You could have said so. As Saucy then gritted his teeth. Enough of this sarcasm! Fight me seriously. I will prove to you that I am more far superior than your puppetry. You know what? Fine. As Narda got into stance, floating in air with air defenses, along with 1000 puppets in his hands. As the battle commenced, as Sorcery was in his final form as well, his 10,000 puppets dance was happening, while Naruto's 1,000 puppets were having a bad time. Hmm, <laughs> see this? You cannot win against me. Well, I gotta give you that, Sorcery. You have experience while I don't, but I have outnumbered you. As 1 million puppets arrived everywhere from the sky from surrounding him, as Sorcery then realized it was all a trap. They were always there, protecting him, with the strings attached to his back palms. As all of the puppets attacked, and Sorcery's 10,000 puppets were decimated, and even he was close to that until he escaped. Until next time, Naruto, you will lose. Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. As unknown to them, Deidara and Zetsu and Toby were watching this week. Deidara Senpai, you have to go and inform the others. I, I want to eat some dangos. Sheesh, fine, Toby. As after the day that I was gone, this is certainly not good, said Toby, changing his voice. Yes, Madara-sama, this is certainly not good. And we cannot bring him towards us thanks to the Nara's genius and loyalty. He will stick with them. This is not good indeed. We have to bring Itachi towards us. Otherwise, this will be our doom. As this was going on, Chunin exams were happening inside Konoha at the moment, and all of the other people from different villages were gathering there to participate. As we see Menma and, well, Konohamaru playing, because Naruto was too lazy to play, he bumped into someone, and the same confrontation occurred until, well, a kunai was thrown across Gara's cheek, grazing it. Even the other two siblings were. I, what, Widen their eyes in surprise. You know, you sand bastard. Get your hands off my knees, son. Stop intimidating him. If you want your life, that is. Nara said, jumping down, but not falling to the ground, floating in the air. Is that? Yes, an air technique. Wind technique. Nara said, as he looked towards Gara. I can see who you are. And my best words for your mother is keep your filthy paws to yourself. Otherwise, I will cut it. I know how to deal with sand monsters. Naruto said as the other two gulped, realizing who he was referring to. Mother wants your blood. <laughs> well, get in line. Many people want them. What is your mother? A Dracula? A vampire? Who sucks on blood and gets off with it? As Gara's eyebrow twitched, and so did Shikaku's. As a miniature Shikaku appeared on Gara's shoulder, you brat, you're so on. I'm gonna squash you, you know that? Hey, it's a Taniki. Aw, adorable little Taniki. Are you mad? Naruto said. As Gara was slowly losing his mind, until the seal slapped on his forehead. Just took it, take it off whenever you want him to go into a sleep. As Naruto then gave them a seal and left. As he arrived back home and went back to his bed. Naruto, you could have waited, said Jiraiya. I know what is going to happen, Jiraiya. It is... The tuning exams, isn't it? Don't you want to? Nope. Are you gonna stay again? I don't even want that. 
let me guess you want to stay home and laze around yep it's too much of a hassle as Naruto was done with the tuning exams and in the finals lost his battle against well surprise surprise Sasuke oh you bastard come on fight me seriously Naruto I did I lost he won as after that Naruto yawned I knew it you lazy bastard but due to the match being over well, let's just say Sasuke was not happy and mad at Naruto for not going all out, as he said, and Naruto was happy because he got to rest, and the council just wanted to give him a middle finger and shove it to him. So they promoted him not to a Chunin, but to a Jonin. As after that, the Chun Konoha crush began in Chunin exams. As from different directions, all sorts of armies of Otogakure and Tsunogakure attacked until a huge air pressure brushed it and threw them out all the way back to the village. As a huge barrier made out of wind appeared there, as Naruto was lazing around there. Don't worry, I'm not that much of an idiot to sleep. I knew what they were planning. So this will give you an advantage. So yeah, the clock's ticking, chop chop. As Konoha was able to defeat them all thanks to Naruto's shield. And Akatsuki was getting more and more concerned. So, Konoha has again prevented a great attack from two villages combined. And Suna later found out that they were betrayed by Orochimaru. And joined the other groups, other villages, to form an alliance against Konoha to stop it from growing even more powerful. And suddenly, when they arrived, spikes appeared from air and slaughtered them all as they were forced back to retreat. The Ninjurikis who came into the contact were stripped away from their bijus. Naruto was modifying it as the passing moment. Even in his sleep, his mind was working, running a mile, and he was resting and getting it the rest it deserved while working as well at the same time. As after that was done, the Akatsuki were left devastated. Five elemental nations. Even though one was a minor village of Orochimaru, were devastated. Many, many arrived there, but lesser few left alive. To tell the tale, Naruto was moved from a triple S rank to S infinite rank, the first ever rank to be built for his own self, the one who was called the Lazy Heartbringer. If provoked, well, you're dead as hell. These were the words, no cap. As after that, the guards kitchen just plain out dropped the whole plan because they knew that there was no way in hell that they were going to get the nine tails. So yeah, why bother? As for Zetsu, even he gave up. He said, to hell with mother, I'm gonna go out and live myself. And finally decided to live himself and be lazy for once, following Naruto's example. As Naruto then stood there after all of these events, you what? Naruto said, yes, we nominated you to become the Kage. Uh, seriously, he joining was not enough for me. As a punishment, no Naruto, we're proud of you, said both of his parents from Narak clan as well as Uzumaki no Mikaze. And you better take this job, son. As Ino then said, Naruto couldn't please. Uh, fine, Ino-chan, I'll take it. As Naruto at the age of 15 became the fifth Hokage of the village. Much to the surprise of everyone else, and under his regime, even though he was lazy, Konha prospered and grew into his own nation, aside from the Land of Fire. It did not need any Land of Fire anymore or even the Daimyo. Naruto was the sole dictator, and there were no Kage's concept, only a royal family, the Makina Mekaze family, that will be carrying out these tasks from now on, as the people of Konha nation trusted them with all their might. And resolve. As this is where I'm going to be leaving the story of guys. I hope you liked this one. And if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. As this is Apollo Uchiha, and I'm signing out.